What's going on guys? So today we're gonna start detailing my 2017 Honda Civic hatchback. To begin, I've already started by doing a little bit of the car, like separating all the stuff that I have in the back. And I went ahead and dusted in all the nooks and crannies of the back seats. And then the front seat up here where my girlfriend sits. I haven't vacuumed yet, but I'm gonna get to that. And then I clean out all the vents and everything like that. Looking all fresh again. So what we're doing for today, uh, we're gonna do a full interior and exterior detailing, um, which will entail ceramic coat and everything. So we're gonna get that whole process done today. And the next video, I'm probably gonna go over what's done to the car and a little bit more about my car. This will give you guys a good idea of how nasty the car was. I've never fully detailed this car. In the six months I've owned it, I have not fully detailed it. Take the brush and you see all of the stuff that's gotten away from there already. Do it to all the buttons and everything. It comes out a lot cleaner and you can't see as much of that nasty grime in there. Just use a little force and it'll come right out. Moving on further into the interior, you can see in these little spots over here, all the dust and all the screen and everything like that. All of that's just dust. So you just take the brush and it takes it a lot easier to be able to get all that stuff out. Like all in here on the dash and everything. It'll take all of those, all that dust out. And even on the vents, you can get all the dust off of those as well. Uh, we'll pick back up whenever we're about to start washing the outside. Every time I wash the car, I always try to do all the inside stuff first, just to go ahead and get it all out of the way. Um, as you can see here, I went ahead and got the WeatherTech floor mats out and the cup holder. Um, I'm just gonna clean all that stuff up, get all the dirt off of that, and we'll put those back in the car and we'll start on the outside. First thing I always do whenever I am cleaning the floor mats is I always use the Chemical Guys Mr. Pink Super Suds uh, Surface Cleaner and put it all over the floor mats, each one of them. And, and then I always just put water in there to uh, just help get all that ready. And then I use a wheel and tire brush to break up all the stuff. And then I just rinse them out. So as you guys can see now, I've already went ahead and agitated all the dirt. And we're just going to rinse it all out. Look how much better that looks already. Yes. Look at that. So nice looking. We'll catch back up whenever it's done. Now, real quick, we're going to go over the stuff that I'm going to be using today. Chemical Guys Diablo Wheel Cleaner. As I already mentioned before, Mr. Pink from Chemical Guys. Ceramic Speed Shine. Uh, Chemical Guys tire, kick, tire Kickers Tire Shine. And then we may use a little bit of Silk Shine Dressing. I'm not sure yet, though. Um, then I got my Chemical Guys Bucket for today. Also forgot to mention, we're gonna use the detailing brushes again for the wheels and tires and the grill and stuff like that. So now I'm just gonna wet the whole car. Um, gonna get all that done. I'll start sudsing it up and I'll pick up whenever I'm about to start cleaning the wheels. So I've never really used one of these brushes before, uh, but I did get the new Chemical Guys a Diablo wheel cleaner um, so I'm just gonna use the brush to just kind of agitate all of the brake dust you can already see it changing colors on there um, so do it all the way around the wheel and in the lug nut areas just kind of all over the wheel um, just to kind of break up all that brake dust you can kind of see in here the difference it's making and there versus like right there in the nooks and crannies just got to get all that good stuff off and then this, this takes time. Good, a good detail takes time. So I'm sitting here finishing up the car, uh, the wheels that is, um, and I see this little worm. I have never seen a worm like this before. It's a very strange looking worm. It's very uh, small looking. Like, there's my finger. I've never seen a worm that slinky looking before. Pretty interesting. So I had a little bit less time than I thought today. Um, I'm just gonna basically ceramic coat the high volume area. So like the hood, the bumper, the side, um, just for now. But later on or maybe tomorrow, I'm gonna do the rest of the car while it's still clean. 
Um, I also, since the track width of the car is a little bit wider because of the wheels, I also installed some PPF down here. I was all, gonna also replace that today, but I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow as well. Um, so for today, we're literally just gonna do the wash, which I already did the wheels. You see how much cleaner the wheels are. God, they look so good. Um, and then I'm gonna finish up doing the Griot's uh, speed ceramic coating, and then we'll get her looking real mean again. Okay, so there's been a slight change of plans. So for today, we're not going to ceramic coat the car. I'm just gonna put everything back together, back in place. And then uh, tomorrow I'm gonna ceramic coat the car, the whole car. Um, I will film a video of that too. That'll be the second video I post. Um, but for today, while I am driving to get my girlfriend, I'm going to talk about the modifications I've done, power numbers and all that kind of stuff. It's a quick update on how the car looks. See how shiny it is with just that high gloss soap. It's like a mirror. Look at that, perfect. Looks so good. Here's a quick overview of the car. Super, super glossy with that soap that I used. And then the exhaust tips came out really good too. I have the full HKS exhaust. Get a little bit of the sound clip. Currently running the stock downpipe, so it's not as loud as it could be. But here in just a second, we will get in the car and talk more about mods. So now we're gonna kind of talk about modifications. Um, I'm gonna try and go in order of when I got the modifications and kind of at what point those were put on. Um, so I bought the car uh, mid to early September of 2020. Uh, I traded in my blown up at the time, um, 2011 Kia Forte hatchback. Um, I traded it into CarMax, found a really good deal on this car. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's a 2017 Civic sport hatchback with the automatic CVT transmission. At the time, it had no modifications. It was bone stock. Um, while we're going through this, I'm gonna try and add some pictures while I'm editing um, of kind of what the car looked like in each stage, because I believe I have pictures from every stage. Um, so at the, in the beginning, like I said, it was bone stock, had the clear side markers on the side. Um, I believe that was actually the only thing that was done was the, was the clear side markers from, uh, from whenever I bought it. Um, so I had the clear side markers. I told myself I was gonna leave it stock for a little while. I did some digging online for all of the different um, modifications and stuff you can do to these cars. At the time, I had never modified a car. I had hardly ever touched a car. So I all of this was from, from the ground up for me. Um, so the first thing I ever did I bought some Amazon LED side markers. Um, they were like 20, 30 bucks. Um, they made the side marker like a smoked out black look. And then while the lights were on, it had like a solid LED white light. And then for each turn signal on the side, it had like a sequential turn signal for the side as well. Um, so that was the first thing I did. Uh, the second thing I did one morning, um, I was scrolling on Marketplace, good old Marketplace. Um, I found a Buddy Club carbon fiber steering wheel um, for a very, very good price, and it was brand new at the time. Um, so I went and met up with a guy, bought it, and installed it that day. Um, I wanted to get a quick release, but with the like airbag and stuff like that, I didn't really feel comfortable with, with getting a, a quick release um so i got the carbon fiber wheel for the, for that um and then from there i went with a mishimoto cold air intake um mishimoto the intake I, from, from what i saw was one of the better ones um it had the enclosed box for the rain stuff like that but it still had that good sound as well as a good performance I thought that was going to be the end of the of the performance mods, um, and it was for the time being. Um, a little bit after Christmas, it was like early January, I ordered the exhaust. The exhaust was an absolute nightmare to get done, so I had ordered uh, originally the um, Gretti DDR, I believe it was, from Art of Attack, and it was on back order for like the next two to three months. And I told myself I was not waiting that long for that exhaust. So I ended up ordering 
the HKS Legamax premium exhaust from MA Performance. MA Performance has been a huge, huge help in this in the build of this car. Um, their shipping time is unreal, and their prices are amazing as well. Um, I've ordered three of the parts from the car off of uh, off of MA, MA Performance. Um, that being the intake, the exhaust, and then my lowering springs, which, which I'll get to here in just a second. Um, so I bought the exhaust, put it on. That was an absolute nightmare as well, putting it on. Um, so it is a full exhaust from the front pipe back. Um, so I haven't messed with the down pipe or the front pipe yet, which I do have plans to do. Um, then I was scrolling the marketplace one day a few months later, found the exact wheels that I wanted for a wonderful price. Um, the wheels you already saw earlier, the silver Koenig wheels. Uh, I believe they're Koenig Ample Forms. Um, they're absolutely amazing. Love them. Um, I wasn't sure about the color. I was going to get Hyper Black, but the silver turned out very, very good for the car. Um, I love how, how they turned out looking with the with the silver of the paint. Um, from then, I bought two new um, Toyo Extension HP2 tires to go on the front uh, and then I just have the Continentals that came on the car on the back. Um, here soon I am going to get the matching Toyo tires to go on the back as well um, and then I'm probably going to end up rotating them as well honestly. Um, from there I wanted the car to be a little bit lower. Um, I do live in East Tennessee so the roads aren't really the best and like snow and sleet and all that kind of stuff happens all the time uh, in the winter. So I decided that I didn't want to get coilovers for the time being. Number one, because they were like a grand for the ones I wanted. Um, number two, I didn't really know how low I wanted to go yet. Um, so I went with the Eibach Sportline kit from uh, from Eibach. From, and I ordered that from MA Performance as well. Um, the lead time on those was about, I would say, like two or three weeks. Um, they have amazing, amazing shipping. But this... That, that I ordered shipped straight from iBox, so it took just a little bit longer. Um, from there, I went ahead and got both of those installed, um, and then I knew that I was going to be tuning the car fairly recently, which I have now. Um, so then I got the drilled and slotted rotor kit for Power Stop, and some ceramic, uh, I believe they're like carbon fiber ceramic pads, um, so those helped out a lot as well. Um, I found a really, really good deal on, on AutoZone for those uh, pads and rotors, so I went ahead and went with those. Um, from there, I tuned the car. Tuning the car has been the absolute best decision I've made with this car. Um, I have watched a video from Cameron Hill. Uh, he, say, he said that an intercooler is always a great idea with a car. Uh, when, especially with these cars, they're very susceptible to heat soak. Um, so I do know that the car needs to get a new intercooler. I'm working on it. Um, so as of right now, I'm running the stock intercooler, the stock down pipe, the stock front pipe. And then right now I'm currently on a custom from TSB Tunes, um, a 25 PSI tune on 93 octane. Um, the car more than likely haven't had a dynode pushes close to maybe 225, 230, 240, something like that. Um, but the CVT, you're kind of, you're kind of limited torque-wise. Um, but TSP, if you have a CVT, has a very good system in which um, keeps the torque below 4,000 RPM um, very moderate, so that it doesn't put as much stress on the CVT transmission. Um, Currently, knock on wood, I've had no issues with the CVT transmission, no issues at all with tuning the car, anything like that. Um, as for the engine management part of it, I have the K-Tuner V2. I've had nothing but great things to say about K-Tuner. Uh, I had some issues in the beginning. Um, they helped me out, reached out, I reached out to them. They got back to me within like the next five or ten minutes. Um, so that was amazing as well. Um, as for future plans, I'm looking at getting a wing of some sort. I don't know which one yet. I don't really want to go with a um, Type R wing, but um, I may end up doing it in the long run. They do look awesome. 
um, but I really wanted some kind of duckbill spoiler. I really wanted the BMS or BM BM spec, however you say it, duckbill wing, but it was sold out and they're also out of business now, so there's no way to get that one. Um, and then I want to get either the uh, 27 one or the uh, PRL catted downpipe. I wanted to say catted, but I do want that little more growl from the from the engine. Um, and then I'm probably going to be going with the Mishimoto intake. Uh, I'm sorry, the Mishimoto in intercooler to match to match the Mishimoto intake. Uh, so I'm going to be doing both of those parts uh, fairly soon, and probably some new coilovers here in the here in the near future. More than likely the uh, the, the BC Racing coilovers. I've heard nothing but good things from the from the from the BC Racing family. Um, I would love to have a, a set of their coilovers on my car. Um, as for like future plans for the car, honestly, I don't know if I'll ever get any track days or anything like that in. I kind of just wanted to build the car um, the way I wanted it. Um, I love the way that Adam LZ builds his cars, so I'm, I've kind of built the car around how Adam LZ kind of build, builds his cars. Um, going off of that though, I would like to start doing some track days like maybe um like a time attack kind of thing um i know the car's slow you guys don't have to handle me in the comments but i do know the car is slow um i enjoy it. it's very fun i am looking at getting like a weekend car here in the fair uh in the fairly close future hopefully um i don't really know how that'll work um but i would like to get one in the in the near future so that was my first video uh thank you guys for liking commenting and subscribing um i would love if you guys would leave a comment with the favorite um product that i used today to detail the car um i know that i haven't posted the ceramic coat video yet that it, that will be tomorrow um i'll do that tomorrow as well as hopefully possibly ceramic coat the wheels as well hopefully um to get all the brake dust off and to protect them from the from the brake dust um so we'll catch you guys tomorrow.